Oh man, the power of the podcast between me and e and Eric Sports. I tell you, I think the UFC may have heard this podcast. Marion wanted this fight. <laughs> so did I. Stay tuned. Enjoy this segment. Here come the intro videos of the fighters. These chicks underestimate you because of your age? Huh. <laughs> Get ready for an ass whooping. What? What? Back that with no remorse. Take a blast that when I'm licking off. Have the big hard hit up when I'm getting off. These bitches with no father figures, they be tricking off. Feel me? They be off the keys, knees, and that's the show. If they try to run between these, I'll blow their doors. Put the jinx on the mall like the South Moors. Cause these bitches got the goal of holler hardcore. I'm cracking jaws. Have to be the South Pole with no look. Give a fuck about the bitches, uh? And that's the hook. You know how I'm gonna get it. Split it. Who am I? I'm not a model. I'm not a sex object. I don't care about fame. I am a fighter. I fight for legacy. And I fight to whoop somebody ass, 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 ass. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We finally got this fight. 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 Well, you know, you know the coach is excited. You know I'm excited about this fight because me and the one and only e and Eric, y'all, we talked about this fight on our podcast. We, we, I, I mean, we hyped it up. I think the UFC must have heard us. I think they heard our podcast. Matter of fact, I know that they, they had to. This fight's happening. This fight's happening. You know what? I like Tanya and I like Mario. I like them both, guys. It's hard for me to pick, but you know, I'm a Reno fan first and foremost. I gotta go Team Reno, okay? I gotta go Team Reno, but man, I'm excited about this fight. Either one of these two women win, I'm gonna be happy because I'm a big fan of both. And both of them done been on the show. Boy! <laughs> oh, God, dog, y'all. I can't stand it. It's gonna be a good fight. It's a 50 50 fight. You know, Marion has the advantage when it comes to stand-up. Tanya Evinger, I think, has a better ground game than Marion Reno. So, we know. We know what it is, okay? Tanya Evinger better not stand, and Marion Reno probably better not go to the ground. That's probably going to be the best strategy for both, y'all. This fight, to me, is evenly. I think they evenly matched up. Because for Marion Reno's lack of ground game, she makes up for it with her, her strength of stand-up. For Tanya Evans' lack of stand-up, she makes up for it for her, her lack. I mean, she makes up for it with her ground game, y'all. I'm so excited. I can't even get the words out. Uh, uh, uh. Here we go. We got this fight. Yes, you got it right. We got this fight. Yes, you got it right. Oh, God. Well, I'm too excited. I'm going to lose my voice making this video. But this is an opportunity, okay? See, if Marion wins, it's going to be good. If Tanya wins, this is going to be good, Okay? And you know what? Marion Reno is ranked number 10. She's ranked number 10th right now. Could you imagine what a win over Tanya Evinger would do? Like that would at least get her probably within the top seven. Then she'd be one more fight away from actually a title fight. That's right. Marion Reno, the ageless wonder, could be two fights away from a title shot. God, <laughs> dog. Tanya Evinger is also about two fights away from a title shot. She is. If she can defeat Marion Reno and then beat somebody in the top six, top seven, I think Tanya Evinger gets the title shot. See, here goes my thing with Tanya Evinger. I'm kind of glad that she's getting an opportunity to fight people at her weight class. And it sucks because she did, she really did want to fight Cyborg. But, you know, I, I just think in that fight, the cards were stacked too far against Tanya Evinger to win. The cards were stacked too far. Like, she really didn't have anything 
to do except for just going there and giving her best effort. And that's what she did. You know, it sucks, man, that this pioneer, this trailblazer in Tanya the Avenger, let me tell you how bad it sucked. Okay, it sucks that, you know, for her to get into the UFC, I mean, she got to fight Cyborg. And it's not Cyborg's fault that people don't want to fight her. It's not Tanya's fault. But, you know, it really, it really sucks, man, that that trailblazer in Tanya Evanger, this is how she get treated. Like, it, it's crazy. So she got to be the sacrificial lamb. She got to be the one that saved the show, a trailblazer like Tanya. But Tanya was game. Tanya Evanger was game. She was ready to get this fight on, man. And that's what I like about Tanya Evanger. She ain't afraid of no fight. Marion Ray, no, ain't, ain't afraid to fight. Neither one of these two afraid to fight. That's why I like it. So, you know, I'm really happy. I'm happy on the end for Tanya because she's fi finally fighting somebody, you know, who's in her weight class. Somebody who's not going to be, you know, able to dominate her based on weight and strength, you know. And I'm glad for Marion Ray, no, because she's finally been looking for a worthy opponent that she can put on her resume. It's going to be good either way. I think if Marion Reno wins, though, I think it's going to be a bigger win for Marion Reno than it will be for Tanya Evanger beating Reno. Because it's just, you know, people try to give Marion a bad rap. Oh, well, you know, y'all, you know, they beat Marion. She, she, she 40. You know, Tanya's 36, 37. So, you know, people, they get so silly, man, when it comes to, you know, trying to determine what a fighter has. Now, I will say Marion is actually in her prime. She started late. She started late in women's MMA, so she's she's hitting her prime. And she's looking better and better. Oh, and guess what? And you guys knew I was going to say this, okay? Is Marion Reynaud going to do sparring time with Chris Cyborg for this fight? Because, you know, December 30th will be here. And then, you know, after Chris fights Holly Holm, then guess what? Chris is freed up. So I wonder if Chris is going to come and help her friend Marion. But nonetheless, we are going to get Marion back on the show. Okay, we're going to get Marion back on the show probably sometime in July. Definitely, I'm going to try to get on maybe the third week of July. Because, um, you know, man, everybody trying to get wrapped up for the holidays. And, you know, I'm closing up my last few interviews. But she'll definitely come on. And she told me, Coach, anytime you want me to interview with you, just say the word. So I'm going to be saying the word. I'm going to contact her, you know, pretty soon. But I'm actually happy, man, that this fight got signed. And, you know, definitely I'll be talking more about this fight. But I'm excited for Tanya Evinger. I'm excited for Marion Reynaud. And, uh, you know, these two women, you know, they, they're just no-love list participants. They're on the no-love list. So finally, you know, two members of the no-love list finally may get some love after this fight. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. I'm done. Subscribe to the best, the best, the best women's MMA platform on YouTube. I'm done.